Through the decade of design, the AIA is committed to a 10-year effort to partner with others. We will study the urban situation, collect information, and ultimately, we're going to implement design ideas that demonstrate that the way that we plan and build cities can significantly impact human well-being. One of our major interests in the Health and Urbanism Project is to look at how we can change health outcomes. And that's a very adventurous proposition. We know a lot about chronic diseases and chronic epidemics, but very little about their geographic context. Our living patterns have changed dramatically uh, with uh, problematic outcomes in health. It's not just one or two, it's big chunks of people get affected by aspects of the environment that we could design for. We now have very powerful geographic analysis tools to better understand where these diseases are located. So we made trips to all eight cities, talked to community people, stakeholders, and also the government. And the only way to address urban health issues in these future cities is to get all of these players at the same table. The idea of the project is eventually to get to the point where we can make interventions in cities. We want to make cities livable, and what are the factors? So it's clean air, it's places to run, it's open space, it's trees, it's light conditions, it's sustainable practices of how we build. But we have to use design to leverage a way of understanding how the pieces of the city connect. There's an opportunity to really shape how urban design and planning are thought about. We need to think of ways to design for almost any kind of future. And that is fundamentally built and designed around the idea of the human being and her or his individual progress and well-being and health. If you think about it, design is long-term preventative medicine. 